We just hit 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much. Hi everyone! This video is a highly requested one for a lot of you are wondering how I use Google Trends to find relevant trends and design ideas. I hope this video will give you guys a quick insight just how important Google Trends tool is for me, especially using it for my print-on-demand journey. This video will be divided into three separate parts. Part 1 will be an overview of Google Trends. That means I will be explaining what is Google Trends, how Google Trends can help you in print-on-demand, and I will also explain what are the important features of Google Trends. Part 2 is where I will show you what are the different types of designs you see in print-on-demand, and I will also explain how they are interpreted when using Google Trends. Lastly, Part 3 is where I will show my step-by-step -step guide on how I use Google Trends for my Redbubble shop. I will reveal how I research for trending designs, and I will also give a real example on how it will look in Google Trends. And as a bonus, I will also show you my guide on how I researched evergreen designs and for seasonal designs. Their timestamps will still be placed in the description below in case you wish to replay certain parts of the video. I recommend watching this video all throughout especially to viewers who are new and confused on how to incorporate Google Trends with Print On Demand. Before I resume, this video is brought to you by Wondershare VidAir. Wondershare VidAir is a creative online video maker designed to make video marketing easier on small businesses. It also contains all the important features you need to create amazing high-quality videos to effectively promote anything in just minutes. From choosing your templates according to your liking or that is related to your business, you also have the option to change the template size fitting for promoting your business among several social platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, even TikTok. If you have little to no experience with video editing, don't you worry. Wondershare VidAir also has a video editing feature that is so easy and user-friendly to use. And they also provide you a detailed step-by-step -step user guide that are so well explained that can make your life easier. And for the best part, Wondershare VidAir offers a one-month free trial for you to use all these amazing features. So, if you are looking for a fast and easy online marketing tool to create quality videos, I recommend you trying out this wonderful software. I will put the links down in the description for you guys to check it out. Now let's get on with today's video. So, what is Google Trends? Google Trends is an online data exploration tool by Google that analyzes the popularity of search terms displayed in graphs and can also compare the search volume of different terms over time. Considering Google search engine has about 3.5 billion searches per day, in simple terms, it is showing you what people around the world are searching for. I will put the link of Google Trends down in the description in case you guys want to try it out. This amazing tool is free to use. What I like about Google Trends is that it can answer some important questions you ask yourself, including me, if you are in the print-on-demand business. Questions like, what niche is trending right now? What niche is selling the best? Or when is the best time to start designing for this niche? and asking yourself, is this niche in demand? All these questions can be answered by the features provided by Google Trends. On the homepage when you visit the Google Trends website, one of the features I like is the trending searches option. It also lets you choose between daily search trends and real-time search trends. Plus, you can also switch what country you wish to see what they are looking for. So I use this feature when I am looking for any trending topics I can use to design when I don't have any ideas. I also only target trends that is trademark free. However, I noticed that the trending searches are mostly related to celebrities, so I rarely use this feature. If you are someone who has a certain niche in mind and would like to know if it is selling well, you can just type the word you wish to be analyzed and Google Trends will present your search term to this. You can also adjust the country, time frame, category, and search type. Another feature I like is that you can put five different niches you want and you will see the full comparison between each one of them. One of the comparison is the interest over time or also known as the search volume. It has a scoring of 100, 50, or 0 depending how popularly searched the terms are. This feature can be useful for those who opens a general shop in print-on-demand, for example, 
a Redbubble artist like me, for it pinpoints the best niche in demand. As you scroll down a bit, you can see another feature which are the related topics and related queries. This also helps you expand or specify the subtopics or sub-niches that is in demand. They also provide a legend indicating whether the topics and queries are at the top or is in rising. I also have read several articles talking about how helpful Google Trends is in terms of product marketing and research. Their links will also be placed down in the description for you guys to read. I suggest you guys to check these articles out for it broadened my perspectives about just how useful Google Trends really is. Now that I have shown you a quick overview of Google Trends, let us now proceed to part 2 where I am going to show you how the different types of designs in print on demand are interpreted in Google Trends. I want you guys to focus on this picture and observe. There are three different colors, each one representing a different type of design commonly used and displayed in print on demand. The red one is what you see on Google Trends if it is a trending design. An example was the famous Storm Area 51 event that happened last September 20, 2019. This is what is going to happen if you are only going to focus on making trending designs. Though it is good that trends do reflect what the audience desires, the main problem is that trending designs loses customers' or users' attention as fast as it attracts it, meaning it picks up only once and only sells in a specific time, requiring you to always be consistent in keeping up with the current trends and events which could be a tiring process, even for me. This brings me to the second type of design, which is a more laid-back type, that is, the evergreen design. And it is the yellow colored line as what you see in the picture. What I really like about evergreen designs is that they sell all year around. Customers can buy your design from January 1 until December 31 every year because of its enduring popularity. I use dogs as the perfect example and you can clearly see ever since the year 2004, dogs have always been consistent with its popularity in the market throughout the span of 17 years. Amazing, right? Other types of evergreen designs I noticed that is popular are funny jokes or puns, delicious foods, anything related to pets and animals, and aesthetics. And for the last type of design in print on demand is a seasonal design displayed as the blue line in the screen. According to Merch Informer, seasonal designs are the holidays that occurs every year like Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, and Halloween. There are also seasons that occur at a specific time but are not necessarily a holiday or a hobby like Groundhog Day or Pi Day. What is good about seasonal designs is that they occur every single year meaning that every year, you will see a sudden spike in buyers. I use Mother's Day as an example on the picture and you can see it spikes every May in the United States because Mother's Day in this country is celebrated every 9th of May. I also noticed that when it comes to seasonal designs, people start searching two months prior to the occasion giving me the impression that I should start making seasonal designs two or even three months early. The only challenge you face when creating evergreen and seasonal designs is that most of them are oversaturated. This requires you to be extra creative and also requires you to keep giving twists to your designs to make it stand out among the rest. If you guys want to know more about these type of designs, I referred some articles below and also referred an article discussing what are the advantages and disadvantages of them. Now that you guys know the different types of designs of print on demand and their interpretations in Google Trends, I can now show you my methods with examples which means you have now arrived at the third part of the video. I apply this method to my Redbubble shop, but I also believe this can be applicable no matter what type of print-on-demand platform you are using. The first method I use is when making trending designs. Similar to when I am finding tags, I start off by looking what trends I am interested to design with the help of a Redbubble tool. I am still going to use the Redbubble popular tags tool for it is another tool that worked for me ever since I started Redbubble. The trend I am using is this trend. Think noodles. For this trend increased its popularity by 1,109 and you can also see in this tool that it has 231 results or designs. However, keep in mind that this Redbubble tool only updates every Monday as what the date indicated on the upper right, showing how recent it got updated. After. 
I am going to check if this trend has any trademarks with the help of Trademarkia. And you can see it is trademark free, giving it a go signal to proceed to the next step, which is going to the Redbubble website to check if this trend is oversaturated. Seeing this trend already has 308 results, I decided to go deeper to find if it has a sub niche with only around 0 to 250 results. This is where Google Trends comes in to analyze and check if this trend is in demand and also checks if there is a presence of a popular sub-niche or subtopic related to noodles. Always take note of the features I mentioned in part 1 when analyzing trends. I do not change the features in Google Trends except for the time range where instead of the past 12 months, I change it to the past 7 days making sure people around the world are still searching for it and I also change the geography for I personally target potential customers residing in the US or UK for these countries are the top two consumers in Redbubble, as stated in similar web as of March 2021. As you can see here, the search term noodles mostly have a steady search volume for the past seven days, and it seems it won't be slowing down anytime soon, which is a very good sign. Next, I will focus what is my target population is looking for when it comes to noodles. So I click United States and it shows the analysis focusing only to this country and I'm glad to still see steady lines. I can now also get ideas for a sub-niche about the noodles from the related topics and related queries and look here. The top one is a panda ramen noodle. It has come to my attention that there are various types of noodles and ramen is one of them. So I compared noodles and ramen and Google Trends reveal they are both in demand by looking at their interest over time. This is where I put a tiny twist to the trend Think Noodles, where instead of noodles, I change it into Think Ramen. I went back to Redbubble and typed Think Ramen and it only has 233 results compared to 308 results from Think Noodles. You guys might be thinking though, what are you gonna do with the original trend that is Think Noodles? Well, I am going to use it when I input my relevant tags. It is up to you to completely follow the trend word by word or you can take the time to explore and add a little twist to it. It is also up to you how you are going to adjust the features of Google Trends when you are researching or analyzing data for trending designs. Just make sure to take the time and explore whenever you are correlating your print-on-demand platform niches with Google Trends. Now that I have a basis what I will design, it is now time to brainstorm for ideas. Go watch videos on YouTube and take note of the top comments of people who are ramen lovers. Check the top designs on Redbubble for inspiration. Or you can also be inspired by checking the top posts on Reddit. You can even check Facebook groups and observe what types of design gets the most reaction from ramen lovers. Or even better, you can personally ask your target population what would make them buy something on a t-shirt that is related to ramens. The last step now is to start designing. Let your imagination and creativity take in. Each person has their own special way to design their ideas. I personally believe it is not the level of expertise you must have when you are designing, but the level of thought you are putting into it. Here is my full step-by-step -step guide on how I incorporate Google Trends when looking for trends for Redbubble. You can also try this method to other print-on-demand platforms. It is completely up to you everyone if you want to follow this guide or you can also add or make some changes. As for how I use Google Trends when researching for evergreen or seasonal designs, this is how I rearranged the guide. To prove this method has been useful to me, I will show you something cool. I have uploaded a design on TeePublic last April 4 using this method and I was able to make a sale the very next day. The same in Redbubble, I uploaded a design last April 26, also applying this method, and I also got a sale from it 3 days later. I hope this method works and helps you guys the same way it helped me. Please let me know down in the comments if you find this guide somewhat useful, and feel free to suggest any ideas you tried with Google Trends that work that can also help everyone down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. If you would like to see me to keep creating quality print-on-demand content like this, you can support my channel by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. That is all for this video and see you in the next one.